let's look at a command that some of you might not be familiar with. You can use this command to speed up the drafting process for laying out objects, in this case, augmented riffle hatching. You could also use the command to generate polygons around slope bands or elevation bands, as is shown in this video. The command is linework shrink wrap. I'm going to get started with the center line alignment and bank full offset alignments that were created in previous videos. With the active layer being the layer that I will add my line work to, I create offset polylines that will represent the bank full alignments. Now select both polylines and type X into the command line to explode them. Select one of the arcs and right click. Click select similar and delete all the arcs in the drawing. Now click one of the lines, right click, then click select similar. Right click again, click isolate objects, select isolate objects. Now type line work shrink wrap into the command line and select all the line work that is displayed. Select and delete all the lines from the last step. Now hatch the objects and make the necessary adjustments to the hatching. If you haven't used line work shrink wrap before, for similar situations, this should make you more efficient. For the next portion of this video, I will show you how you can use line work shrink wrap to create polygons around elevation bands. These polygons can be used to calculate areas in the CAD environment, or they can be exported to GIS as shapefiles. We are starting with the design surface I created in previous videos. Change the surface display style to a style that displays the elevation bands. From the analysis tab in the surface properties window, define how you want your elevation bands. For this example, I am defining three bands representing the elevations of the surface. Select the surface and from the ribbon select extract from surface, then select extract objects. Make sure that elevations are selected, then click OK. The objects that are exported from the surface are controlled by the surface style. You will notice that the triangles from our surface were exported solids. Now create a layer for the band that you want to shrink wrap first. Make that the active layer. Select a solid in the band you are shrink wrapping. Now run a quick select using solids as the object type and the color as the property. Make sure that the appropriate color is selected and click OK. With the object selected, type linework shrink wrap into the command line and press enter. Now polylines have been generated around that elevation band. Follow the same process for the remaining two elevation bands. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more Civil 3D related tips and tricks. Now select all the solids in the drawing and delete them. You now have polygons representing the elevation bands. With these polygons, you can now calculate areas and export the line work to shapefiles. Thank you for watching.